So I recently completed this precious metals website that I designed in Figma and built in Webflow and I wanted to share it with you guys today. I'm gonna to give you a little tour of the website and make sure you stay till the end because I'm gonna reveal how much I was actually paid to design and develop this website. So stick around to the end. So let's dive into the website right now. We have here our loading animation and we've got this quite cool hero slider which is showing American iconography in the background as we scroll past. We've got some coins as well. We've got this quite interesting section where we can hover on these cards and get more information. We can go down here to this section where we have a sticky coin surrounded by some benefits about investing in gold and precious metals. We've got my client services here. Now, some of you may be wondering, where do I get my clients from? So the specific project I got from YouTube. So if any of you are thinking of starting a YouTube channel, it's a great way to get web design clients. The website is incredible. All the feedback that I've gotten is amazing from my clients. You're able to channel the persona of my business and really nail it and make the website the incarnation of everything that we believe and stand for. Not an easy feat. You did an incredible job. Going down, we have a call to action section. I love the little micro interactions of the images appearing. Down here, we can actually see featured products. And I, I love this section and I love the product system that I've built around this website. So you can see there's a cool little hover interaction on each of these coins. And what we can actually do is come down here to browse the product catalog. Now this is really cool because you can actually come down here and see that we've got gold, silver, platinum, palladium, and even rare collectible coins. If we look at this Britannia coin page here, I just love how this dark background makes the coin pop. These contrasting colors of the bright gold of the coin and also this dark blue background really work well. We can actually scroll down to see a little bit of information about this coin. We can even drop down this menu here where the user can find out a little bit more about this coin here. We have a longer content section where they can read a bit more about the history of this coin. But notice right over here on the side, we have this sticky sidebar, which is really awesome because it, it means that no matter what point on the page they are, the user can always order a product. All they gotta do is click make an inquiry here and they get greeted with this product inquiry form. It has an image of the coin that they're looking to potentially buy and all they do is add in their information and this gets sent to my client's CRM so he can contact them. Some other parts of the website are quite cool like this about us section, very plain, minimal with custom photography. We've got a team section like here. We've got a testimonial section like this. And we've actually got an education portal, which is almost like a blog where he can share history of gold and kind of interesting articles to his potential clients here. Now, this is a section that I wanted to take you through because it's a historical graph. You can click on it and it brings up this pop-up card, which is quite interesting. You can click away from that and, you know, look at things like the oil shock. Now I'm gonna stop showing you the site there and briefly take you through Figma and also through Webflow just so you can see what the site is actually built with. And then after that, I'm gonna reveal how much I was paid to build this website. So here we are in Figma and this is a pretty standard Figma file. I mean, we've got all our pages here. I've What I've done is, so it's easy development. We have our cards here, but I've also laid out the backgrounds and then also all the hover states here just to make it easier for the developer. It's the same with the sliding backgrounds for the hero section. I've designed each slide so that the developer can go in and develop that. Uh, I really do love the design of this product page. You know, it's just very clean. I'm just very happy with how it came out. You know, same page again, we have the product inquiry pop-up form as well. Let me share a couple of important things you need to have in your Figma file before you hand off to a developer. The first one is a style guide. So right here, we actually have our style guide. Basically a style guide is really helpful for a developer because it shows them how to build the website. Right here, you can see all the styles, the headings. And next to that, you can see all the styles for the paragraphs, for the buttons here. So we come up here, we've got even our color styles all planned out here for the developer so that there's no confusion about which colors need to be added. Another really key part of a Figma file is your components. 
We've got here a set of components that make up the website. Components can be things like nav bars, footers, common call to action sections. It's really useful to have these saved as components because we can actually update one instance of that component and it will carry through throughout the entire website. So that's called a component and in Webflow they're really important. So we have our call to action sections here. We've got even our product card right here. Forms, precious metal calculators. We've got all these sections that are gonna be reused throughout the build. Now let's take a look inside Webflow because Webflow is the platform that the site has been built on. We made sure to use the client first style system for CSS. Sections look like this. So we have a section, we've got our padding and a container and then our actual content inside that. So a very standard setup for a Webflow page here. To get the effect on this coin that it is actually sticky, you can see that down here, we are using position sticky, which is a very you know, common CSS property. We're also using things like rems that are more accessible than pixels for building websites in. By the way, if you're a designer who's looking at getting into development, I actually wouldn't recommend learning Webflow yet. Get started with Framer because it's a lot easier and you don't have to worry about a lot of the things that you have to do in advanced Webflow development. So check out Framer if you're interested. I wanna show you one cool thing on the product form. As you can see here, we've got fields for first name, last name, phone number, and email, but there's actually a hidden field inside here. Let me show you. We've got this one right here called pass product name. And if I set this to flex, you'll see that this is actually a sort of hard coded form field, which is hidden. And what it does is it actually gets the name of the product from that page, from the CMS and it will send it through in the form submission. And that allows my client to have data on what the user was looking at when they contacted him. CMS collections are basically the building blocks of our databases. So for example, products here, every single product in our website is coming from this database called products. And you can see here, we've got, you know, everything in here from our images, primary secondary images, um, toggles for things like if it's RA eligible, we've got a long description. Anytime my client wants to add a new product, it doesn't have to call me. You can actually go into Webflow here and just click new product. And all he's got to do is fill out the data here and that's going to actually send a new product to his CMS. So that's one of the great things about Webflow is that your clients can actually uh, use it as part of their business and they don't always need to call you up as a developer. It's very user friendly for the client. We also have other CMS collections here for things like product categories, education articles. Again, my client is able to upload these articles himself. Now I've taken you through the build, I wanna reveal how much I was paid to build this website. To build the website, my client paid me 15,000 US dollars. Keep in mind that I didn't get all the $15,000. Part of that was actually paid to contractors that I was working with for some of the custom coding on this website and also some of the animations in Webflow. So I didn't actually take home all of that and the project took around about four months to deliver. So it was actually quite a long project. I hope you enjoyed watching the video and that you learned something. Um, I wanna help you by showing you how web design is done and also development so that you can become a better web designer yourself. By the way, if you're looking to get more clients like this, I recommend checking out my video about how to use LinkedIn as a designer so you can get more clients. So check that video out here and I'll see you in the next one. Ciao.